Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, my name is Stephen, I am a Stonewall Gamer, it is Tottenham Day, it's not the official name for it but for Rangers, Tottenham twice today in this episode, they're um, to be fair I'm going to count them as meaningless games because I'm expecting to lose both of them, so to get anything out of it would be a bonus, um, I'm kind of hoping Benfica stomp on Vigo twice, that way it gives the Vigo and Rangers game like a bit of substance you know what I mean if we win it then we get third um not a lot to catch you up on uh we obviously last time I left you I lost Ross County because of I don't know if FM um and then we played St Mirren we, we won 3-1 now my computer um football manager updated when I got back and it seems goalkeepers are even more broke than they was before. Are you experiencing this or is it just me? Um, Joe Garner's on a bit of a slump. He hasn't scored in a few games and he's um, getting a lot of 6.3s all of a sudden. So, yeah. Um, but other than that, yeah, there's not a lot to discuss. Let's just, just get straight into this because I'm nervous about it. But... As I said, I'm not expecting anything. So, um, sorry, I got a bit of a tickly throat. So, um, anyway, our team today: McCrory and Goal, Tavernier, Kiernan, Wilson, Wallace, Thompson, Belomo, Sheaf. Um, Nuno's been kicking off that he wants a bit of football. And to be honest, I compared him to everybody, other than Gallagher, who's still quite young. He is essentially our second best, um, like. Advanced playmaker, you know, it depends where you put him, but you've got Mackay, then Gallagher, then Nuno, but here you've got Sheaf and then Nuno. So I can understand him kicking off a little bit, but I think he's going to have to just uh, either fight for his place or become a bit of a money making scheme because he's worth 2.7 mil. And uh, yeah, I'm quite happy to sell him off for, for 2.7 mil if need be, as we got him on a free. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, that is the team. Let's see how Tottenham are going to... Uh... Right, I'm... I'm a new White Heart Lane, so they have got their new ground. Right, here it is. Okay, they've got Lacazette. Oh, no. Um, Lloris in goal for Sarajko. Pushed right up. Out of here, out. Vimmer and Rose. Um... Dyer and Ali in the middle, Lacazette on the right, Eriksen and uh, Coutinho. Really? Went from Liverpool to uh, Tottenham, okay. And Harry Kane up front. That's a scary looking team, isn't it? It's a scary looking team. I don't know what to do about this one. Right, let's just... Um, how do, what do I say? Nobody expects us to get no pressure. Just chill out, enjoy the game. I'm going to tell them I've got faith. And honestly, I'm going to attack them. I'm kind of hoping that they don't expect it and that we just come out all guns blazing and get a goal and sit back. I'm hoping. But um, we're 10 minutes in and not a lot's going on. Benfica are three 0 up against Vigo. Okay, right. Okay, they've got a chance. Eriksson, he's uh, cutting inside the Tavernier tackles. Delhi Alley. Mm, why is it down as Delhi? Why? 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 His name's Delhi Alley. Whatever. Eriksson's got the ball. Lacazette. He's uh, running past the. Ah! He he beat uh, he beat Wallace and whipped it in for Harry Kane. Oh, no way. And they've won the As I said, I'm, I am expecting to lose these two games. Um, the Benfica game was a bit of a, you know, pain considering how much we got beat by. But, yeah, Lacazette on the wing there. It's just absolutely done him. And Harry Kane's not a lot, not a lot you can do about that one, unfortunately. It does look like we're aiming for third. Um... But we'll see what happens here, won't we? Right, Thompson, Nuno, Garner. Come on, can we make something? Chief Garner, Thompson. Mass passing it around nicely, Belomo. Where are we going with this? What's happening? Tavernier. 
whips it in, it's come back out and they're going to counter us now, aren't they? They're countering, right, counter meets counter, Lacazette scored. See, like, before the update, I would argue McCoy would say that. Let's just watch it, Ericsson, he's slotted it through, fair enough, Lacazette, but goalkeepers are broken, again, stop doing it, SI. Uh, the, during the beat beta, goalkeepers were all right. The, you know, nothing too bad about them. And then the full game come out, a little bit broken. You update it again, and they seem to be absolutely knackered once again. So you're just trying to turn it into FM16 again. We don't want an FM16. But I, I'm quite happy the fact that it looks the same, but the gameplay was the big downfall with 16, and this one was actually improving on it. You're just screwing it up. Harry Kane scores. We're 3-0 down. Um, I know Tottenham are the better team, but it just seems like the goalkeepers are broken. I don't care whether it's just an animation or not. See, how did he miss that? No way. I'm not believing it. It's a load of crap. We're 3-0 down to Tottenham at, in London, which, okay, you know, I'm going to give him a bollock in. Absolutely terrible. I, I just don't get it. Stop breaking goalkeepers. They always manage to do it every goddamn year. All we want is decent gameplay. We don't care about fans. You know, the animation, the 3D is brilliant. But if you can't get it right, don't pull it in. Simple as that. Most people play on 2D anyway. Well, as far as I'm aware. Right, Deli Ali's got it. I'll stop rambling now. Stop bitching and moaning. Ericsson, Kane, Wilson tackles, Belomo. She's hooped it up and Alderweireld's cleared it to Coutinho, who's cut in Kane. Trippier, he's crossed it in and Harry Kane scored again. <sighs> Drop deeper, slow it down, close down less. Hoof it, just hoof it. Because you can't do nothing. See, that now, because of the goal difference, we are below Vigo. God's sake. That Vigo game's really important. It really is. I cannot, I cannot... It just, as I said, I, I was expecting to lose whatever, but it just seems that McCrory's extra, like, crap. And I don't understand why, because he's been brilliant since I put him in. Absolutely brilliant. Right, Zelalem could come on. Let's put, take Garner off. There's no point in chasing anything now, because 4-0 down, you're not getting that back. Benfica are 4-1 up. So what's that mean? Nothing really. It just probably means they've scored more goals. Um, we're still in counter, and Ericsson's put one in. Five nil. Champions League is kicking the crap out of us. Vigo is up. Why is his hand glued to his hip? Oh no! You're joking. Just, just, just right. Defensive. I know this is negative, and I know it's not good, but it's just disgraceful. It really is. Can we get one just for like? Just to say we scored. No, of course we can't because Eric Dyer's taken the ball off. We haven't even had the shot on target. That says everything, you know. They've been walking all over us. I mean, tw 23 shots. We've had six shots. And not one. On Ooh, not my mic. Not even one on target. Disgusting. Uh, um, yeah, that's going to be the first. Uh, Tottenham game. I am expect another loss in this episode. Expect me to get even more peeved off. Because um, I've, I've got a feeling we're going to get hammered again. But, but, I'm still praying on a third place finish. And hopefully we can beat Vigo, maybe. We're going to have to, really. Especially with this goal difference now. We need to beat Vigo. But um, I'm going to give him a bollock in. I'm going to play the games in between, and I'll see you at the next Tottenham game. See you in a second. 
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Not a lot's happened. Uh, obviously, the last game we lost 5 0 to Tottenham. Exciting stuff. Um, we played in the Betfred Cup semi final and beat Partick Thistle 3 2. Um, Bowenish scoring just before the end of the half. Tom Woolley getting himself one and Joe Garner finally scoring after several games. Um, last game was actually Partick Thistle, so there we go. Um, Jack Smith also managed to f get himself a goal at last in the first minute against Queen of South. Um, Joe Garner once again scoring, so getting back into form. Uh, Michael Kane decided he didn't want to play again after 51 minutes, but we had already won. So, oh, well, we were already 2-0 up, so it didn't really affect much. Um, Kilmarnock game was disappointing. Jack Smith had his chance and uh, missed the penalty. Zach Wooden come on and scored two goals. So, yeah, he come on at half-time and changed the game for us. Today we have Tottenham. Um, I think the big game's going to be Vigo, like I've previously said. But this one's a what-the-hell sort of game. You know what I mean? Like We are at home, but uh, why not? Just go for it. That's the way I'm looking at it. Uh, the team will be as usual, uh, McCrory, Tavernier, Kinn and Wilson, Bowenish, as uh, Lee Weiss is suspended, disappointing, Thompson, Belomo and Sheaf, Holt behind Garner and Rudden. I've already uh, started the team talk and all the rest of it, um, their team hasn't really changed, I'll just show it you, uh, Luis, Vasalsko, Alderweireld, Vimmer and Rose. Dyer and Ali in the middle, Cortinho, Eriksson, Lamella behind Kane. Um, honestly, I'm expecting to get our backsides handed to us. However, if we can get something, I'd be happy. I'm going to start on counter, which I'm already thinking is a bad idea. Lamella for Sarsko, whips it back to Cortinho. McCrory saves it. I'm thinking maybe we close them down more. But slow down the pace. I'm just trying stuff. I'm just trying stuff. I don't know why. Thompson clears that corner away. And uh, Ali recycles it back in. And that is the end of it. Uh, to get a point here would be absolutely fantastic. Uh, but we need Benfica to essentially you know, get something over Vigo. But I don't know. Uh, uh, uh. It's going to be difficult. It's going to be difficult. Vigo are actually beating Benfica. Which just adds to the issues that we're going to face. We've got possession. We're not doing a lot with it. It looks like we're getting to half time. A draw would still... A draw would do. I'm not, you know... Accept a, I can accept a draw. Especially against Tottenham. I'm going to tell them we owe Tottenham. We owe Tottenham after last time. No one's playing bad. Joe Garner's under 6.5. I don't really know how to push forward. You know what I mean? It's without getting countered or... And to be as I said, I'm quite happily take a draw against Tottenham. Like Tavernier, Holt, Rudden. Come on, Garner. It's tackled by Dyer. Lamella. Someone closed him down. Coutinho. He's whipped it in and Kane scored. They've done it again. They've come down the wing, whipped it in and scored through Kane. Ah, damn it. This is really disappointing now. There it is in 3D. Once again, spreading the play. Maybe, uh, I'd say put the wing backs on full backs, but that's not going to change that. At the end of the day, he was in between the, like, the full the wing back and the def central defender. Um, I'm going to go attacking. Just for the hell of it, why not? And we're hitting 60 minutes already. Zach Wood has taken a knock, great. Uh, Waghorn's not really fit, but he's got to go on. I wanted to take Garner off, to be honest with you. Lee Hudson could come on for Bowenish. And that is it. That's all we're going to do. Come on, if we could get something here, it'd be ideal. 
but I shot on target. I, it looks like they're just getting in the way of everything. And with 15 minutes to go, we're going to go overload and very fluid. Right, we're at 80 minutes. I don't think we're not get Vigo's w winning as well. I think that that's it. Unless we get a draw against Benfica. Oh, Holt, Hudson. We've got a penalty. We can get a draw. It. Oh, crap. Oh, Garner should be taking this. Come on, Joe. Come on, Joe. Come on, Joe. 1-1. One, one. Come on. That makes all the difference. To get a point at, against Tottenham. Wow. Joe Garner. Keeper doesn't even move. Garner from the penalty spot. We don't deserve it, but I do not care. I'm still on overload. Whoa. Okay. Well, there's no point now anyway. There's two minutes left. And to get a draw, especially as Vigo have, have won. Oh, crap. Right, recording clears. So, wow. We got absolutely battered by Tottenham. 5-0. And then we got a very respectful 1-1. Um... I'm very happy with that. Very happy with that. A Vigo game is going to mean so much now. If we can beat them, we go above them. 430 grand for that. Not bad. Not bad for a draw. Um, let's have a look. Okay. Um, the next game will be Vigo and Kilmarnock. I know I'm not very energetic or anything uh, this episode. I'm still ill. I'm getting worse as well, as you can probably hear. But I'm going to still pump them out. Uh, they have been late, but better late than never, I guess. But I'm not even going to do the whole switch over. Vigo and the Betfred Cup final next episode. If you do like it, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. But as always, ladies and gentlemen... Enjoy. I'm going to go to bed to die for a little bit. Take care.